A 35-point Warriors win set the franchise record for the largest season opening victory ever. Golden State's 139 points were the 11th most by a team on opening night of all time. Despite this, it was a supremely balanced scoring effort as Andrew Wiggins was one of only two 20 plus point scorers. The other was Buddy Heald, who became the first player since Paul George in 2022 to drop 20 plus in less than 15 minutes. Stephen Curry finished one rebound shy of a triple double, and he didn't touch the floor in the fourth quarter. Stay tuned for how the dubs got it done. Right quick, over 77% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so please subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and follow at Hoops on Instagram and X for a follow back. Thank you for your support. You're tremendously appreciated. Overcoming an early 9-point deficit, Gary Payton II lives up to his nickname of the Young Glove by stripping Denny Avdia and taking it coast to coast. Curry rejecting a Looney on ball sees him still spot Looney in the pocket before the young glove cuts baseline to receive the bounce entry from Kavan and he reverses around Kamara. Heald getting a Looney handoff sees a momentum cross into the screen and hit a contested by Murray 3. Heald using a double flare screen, the first of which Melton slips and getting a pin from Looney gets him a clean swing from Pajemski and he drains it. With Kyle Anderson facilitating, watch how much ground this Looney cross screen covers as Melton gets from the top of the arc to the far left wing for the catch and shoot. Fourth year pro action features Moody driving left and kicking to Kaminga, then the Blazer defense leaving Moses alone on the relocation so Jonathan giving it back to him in the left corner. Trace pitching the dribble handoff to Wiggins, Leeways and Andrew collapsing of the defense where he spots Melton. Jeremy Grant overhelping leaves Kaminga alone, allowing this cut to the basket and up and under. Split action leads to a wide handoff from Trace to Curry, opening up Jackson Davis on the roll for the stuff. Jackson Davis tossing a heeled and screening leads to Green getting it in the corner and letting fly of a heavily contested deep range bomb. Pin down for Curry set by Pajemski seeds Pod's roll and retrieve, then find TJD in the dunkers. The Blazers fail to gather the healed miss and off a swing from Brandon, but he isn't missing twice. This slick TJD dime features him fake handing off to Pods and bullet bouncing to Curry. Green getting trapped as he crosses half sees him floated across to Curry who collapses the defense when retrieving it, fakes drive with a single bounce which opens up his new splash brother in the corner. Wiggins heavily contesting the Grant post up leads to Curry left handed outletting to Heald and Buddy fittingly finishing ambidextrously. An as high as it gets ball screen catches too much of Portland's attention and they leave Wiggins open. Pajemski screening for Wiggins leads to him pulling up and getting a Kawhi roll. Green dishing from the top of the arc and Curry using an empty side Jackson Davis cross screen allows Steph to finally drain his first triple of the night. Curry outletting to Wiggins gets Andrew a downhill attack to his left over Simons. Jackson Davis shutting down the Simons layup triggers a beautiful fast break where Curry behind the back passes to Kaminga who Euro steps around Kamara for the finish. Showtime split sees Wiggins slip for the green entry and spot a baseline cutting Kaminga. More elite passing takes place off this Curry Jackson Davis pick and roll with TJD finding Draymond in the pocket. Multiple pins from TJD in this pick and roll with Curry give Steph all the space he needs. Curry merely clearing out from the left wing gets multiple defenders eyeing him, therefore leaving Wiggins open. Steph fakes another clear out right here, but instead backpedals to the arc for the Draymond overhead, and he's jumping. Buddy's going to all of clean up this Pajemski miss by darting out to the arc, get a touchdown pass from Curry and finish the and one, then get a semi-transition swing and continue to display his ambidextrousness. Melton blitz in the passing lane gets him the deuce on the runout, and DeAnthony then gets another steal and runout by knocking it away from Henderson. In the final period, while Jackson Davis and Wiggins had their moments, for most of the fourth quarter the Warriors got rest for their starting five, and as mentioned in the intro, Curry didn't touch the court in the fourth. No matter what lineup Kerr put out there, Golden State continued to tear apart Rip City. As we talked about with the Celtics in my last video, this was a historic beatdown of a season opener. This was your boy G Flow, and I'll see you next video.